11 there, boss. Oh, yes, okay. For March 23rd, council meeting, can I get a call to order and roll call, please? Elwick. Here. Gates. Yep. Vecinius. Here. Parmeter. Here. Blue Hop. Here. Start. Here. Here. All right, say the pledge of allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, can I get a motion to approve the agenda as written? Motion second. Motion by Riley, second by Bethany. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Can I get a motion to approve the consent agenda as written? Second. By Bethany, second by Riley. Any questions, comments? Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Now it's time for receiving five communication petitions or remonstrances. Don't believe we've gotten any. Moving on to committee reports. Um, we didn't have a committee meeting, but we had a work session prior to council tonight to go over uh, minimum requirements for the house that we'll be putting up for auction and the lot that we Citizens input. Council won't take any action on your comments at this meeting, but may do so at a future meeting, so please limit your presentation to three minutes or until this little pink timer runs out, whichever that may be. So Matt, I see you're on here. Get up, introduce yourself, where you live again. So I'm Matt Wilden of here in Iowa over in Basin Edition of our West Forest Street. Um, I'm here to discuss my concern in regards to the ongoing uh, portion of my sewer line. Um, I had been doing some further investigation in regards to the uh, phase two that I'm in currently, which is the second phase of the Wilson edition, which is also what John Mossman is in. And in dialoguing with John Mossman and also doing some further investigation with talking to city officials, there had been evidence that he, although well within the 200 feet of the ordinance, was given um, a discount on his sewer line being placed, and it was extended quite a bit of the <coughs> distance, although he and I have a similar amount of elevation and fall, I would say, overall between our two properties, um, saying so he only paid like $1,000 for it to all be done at that time, which of course I would expect to be probably more in today's day and age as far as with changes in inflation. So I feel like uh, I should be entitled to a similar, at least maybe a discount in my uh, sewer line insulation in that we're both in the same phase, um, we're both with the same distances. I feel like it's apples to apples in regards to that. Um, that's what the investment has been said that um, would, I feel, give me an opportunity to also have that same set of so, um, as far as with previous work sessions, we talked about also that you know my property would be in line, you know, the way that they had said that it'd be oriented with the line would run in parallel with the street, which you know I think makes sense overall. But I feel like, I mean, the water main was extended, but the sewer line was extended, and that's not my fault, which normally would be a typical practice, and that as a part of that. They want me to extend it well beyond the what would be the distance to my property line, which is 167 feet. But when you take me down the middle of the road, there's a much more considerable distance beyond, and I would say be close to the 200 feet that the ordinance 
um, minimum requirement. So all in all, I feel like I would like to have for the consideration of the council to revisit this and take further action if possible. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Thanks Matt. Matt. take notes. So, all right. Anybody else? Roger here. May not make it. Been okay. Anybody else? Anybody out there? Actually, there is nobody, nobody else attending the council meeting online. All right. Moving on to old business. A motion for second consideration ordinance 1080 an ordinance adding a new subsection regarding no parking zones. Motion. Second. Motion by Tammy, second by Riley. Any questions on that? Is that by the baseball diamond? Yes. yes. Okay. Roll call, please. Elwick? Yes. Messina? Yes. Blue Hawk? Yes. Start? Yes. Parmeter? Yes. Gates? Yep. All right. Now we need to have a motion or looking for approval of a special events application for the bright lights on fourth for twenty twenty three. Second. Motion by Ron, <coughs> second by Tammy. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah. Man? Come up, introduce yourself, <coughs> where you live, all that good stuff. Ben Sorbonne, I'm from Southern Mount Auburn, but grew up here all my life. Uh, I got some information for you. Uh, <coughs> first one is um, what we did was I, we talked before about uh, the entrance for safety for the uh, attempt to take <laughs> anyway um, for the safety of the fire getting a fire truck in or an ambulance in the uh, entrance of the you know the first page is uh, from the fire department when I met with Charlie Garwood and Brett Stein and we kind of went over what the plan was going to be the second um, letter is from Anna DeMuth uh, from the North Benton ambulance and she approved that also that design that we have on the back and the third page is from Scott Meyer. So we're getting some barricades from him to use to barricade off the roads. And the last one is the, the diagram. And we, if the, if you're on First Avenue there, we have the trucks wide enough that, and Charlie and I talked, that you want like three foot wider than a normal semi would be on each side so they could get in if they had to. Um, before we talked about doing it back on A Avenue, but with the stage being back farther, uh, the people would be there, so they'd have to get through all the people to get to something in there. So this way they'd be coming in from First Avenue, and there's there's an area there to work if they had to do something or whatever that way. So it ended up working out a lot better that way. Um, and also, uh, Doug Robinson helps me out there, and he'll have the keys to the semi, so if we had to move one to get something done else in there, we were able to do it. Um, uh, I talked to Scott Hansen also on uh, Monday. Uh, he's a Benton County Emergency Management guy. Uh, he got permission from the supervisors so that if there happens to be a storm or something come, you know, we could get in the courthouse or the, the jail to house people if you know, a storm just popped up or something like that. Um, uh, I guess that's about it. I've uh, Got our dram shop already and applied for our state license for a liquor license, so then I'll just have to 
meet with you guys again to get you to prove that deal too. So. That's about it. We didn't have any costs, did we? Or we didn't, we didn't charge uh, Kevin a fee. You did or did not? We did not. He gave a uh, donation. We gave a donation to them and the ambulance. I remember that. And the no, I did have a conversation with Sheriff <laughs> Tippett, and he said that he would be willing to give up a couple, three guys to take some, of, at no charge, to take off some of the strain on the test force. Better yet? So the question would be, yeah, we're just going to not charge again. <laughs> so, okay. if they're okay with that. So, um, we got any other questions? We have it worked out that we're not blocking any businesses that will be open, right? I, on that this diagram, the only one person that would have, that might have a problem would be the uh, Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. And we're going to barricade that off and leave some parking spots over there so they can have stay open during, before the concert, during the concert, I mean, uh, the Granges are the only ones to stay open until 5, mm -hmm. and we keep the road open for them until that happens, and then when you know, 6, 536 comes, we close it up and get going on everything else there. Um, try to clean it up again, just like we did last time real good. And but we're going to try to work with them. I don't know. Um, I, Talk to uh, Melanie Snow, talked to most every business person, and um, she said there's no problems with any of them. They were concerned about being open, and, and we said we'd make it work how we have to keep it work for them. And if I have to put a security guard there or something, we can do that to, to handle it. To deal for it. I thought about possibly going in and talking to them and maybe uh, to eliminate the problem, possibly ask them what a night would cost to maybe they could just close down for the I don't know if they'd want to do that or not, but uh, it's an astronomical number, of course. It wouldn't work. But. I'm sure it would be, as soon as you ask. That's right. <laughs> Busiest night of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Just saying. So. Yeah. But we'll make it work how we have to, to, to work with any of the businesses. It's fine. So. We just asked uh, the businesses not to sell pop or something outside because. We have the special needs kids that we get the water and pop and stuff donated from Dollar Fresh, and they sell the water pop and then they're gonna have chips and stuff this year outside. So we'd like people to buy it from them so they make money for them for the Special Olympics and the bowling stuff they do and all that. And then this year we're adding another new one. Uh, we have the Telfahun. Uh, it's like a motorcycle group. It's a veterans group that takes. Uh, they also take uh, veterans to Iowa City to the vets hospital and stuff, they pass around a helmet during the deal. And then uh, we're also getting on board with the Iowa Donors, uh, Organ Donors Association, they're going to put up a booth too, so trying to help out everybody we can. Hopefully we'll have people that can support those groups anyway. So, that's all I got. Thanks, Kevin. All right. How, how does that work? And I mean, if we okay this, are we saying that we're saying that businesses can't sell anything outside? Or is that between you and the business? Well, Melanie, Melanie walked around and asked them. That they didn't, we didn't care if they come in the store. Yep. But we'd like it if they didn't go outside and nobody's had any problem with it. So. And the, lady, the only person was a coffee shop. They thought about selling something out there. And I told her, well, you can sell coffee out there if you want. That'd be fine. But I just assumed just for the Special Olympic people that they... And then they were yeah, all I, I understand. I just, if they're open, they can, you know, the people will go in the stores anyway. So. 
and then, I mean, I guess we've never had somebody complain about it last year, so. But it's, it's a good question. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I don't want to we can't force them to do that. I just want to make sure that it was clear, I guess. Also on my uh, application, I put down 1 o'clock um, for the time that the music would have to be stopped by then. I don't think it will go that late, but last year we ran a little late. And, and uh, I had uh, 2 o'clock down on the thing, and Ted and I talked, and we put it back down to 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said that we also talked that if it happened to get a rain delay or something, that we could go till 2 o'clock if we had to. There was a rain delay or something like that happened. Otherwise, we're, the one o'clock will be the, the number that we have to be done by with noise, and then, of course, we'll be cleaning up after that and get the street open and stuff. So that's all I got for you. Any other questions? Roll call. Yes, Parmeter. Yes. Gates. Yep. Stark. Yes. Cassinius. You betcha. Elwick. Yes. Thank you. No Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, no rain. That's all right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right. Now, well, moving on to item C is discussion or question from the Vinton Braille School LLC for sale of lots 35 and number 36. Kids, you want to come talk? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, <laughs> I sent the information in that, yeah. that you had requested. And I hope Chris shared it. Uh. Yes, um, if I may, Mr. Mayor. Yep. Um, the information that's before you, um, I did talk with the city attorney and also with the home arts about. Uh, I had one or two choices. One, either going to closed session and have each and every one of you sign a, a non disclosure agreement, or two, uh, have it do it as like an economic development prospect that actually comes across the fall. Um, after talking with Doug <coughs> about it, he said he preferred, personally, professionally, he preferred counsel get the information this way. That way it's not specific, but it is, it gives uh, counsel a general idea of what's going on from their request. And this is the information that So my, my question was, that it's going to comply with the developer's agreement? Yes. That everything's spelled out, there's not going to be any gray areas like it was the last time. The last time for what? When we approved the sale of the lots last time with your residential lots along 13. There, there was no gray area. There was a contract signed that, that was I all in black. With you guys, but we never saw that. They came back to us. I just want to make sure that we're not going to have any gray area. This there, there was a covenants. And there was a contract signed that called every single aspect out. Now, if the builder didn't understand his contract, that's one thing. But there was a contract. So if anybody needs copies of the covenant or needs copies of the contract, I can supply that. That may not hurt to get one to Chris just so we can see it because I don't want to come back on us. But I, it should not have come back on us. I think to. it was more of a talk around town. And it, it it was spelled out clearly in the contract. Yeah, that, that's great. I, yeah. That's, it just wasn't when it came to me and it came to some other people sitting up here. So. Okay. Well, but yeah. I, I'll yeah. supply the covenant to every single member here. Or and, we uh, can give it to Chris. Yeah, yeah just give it to Chris. Questions. That's what I need. Yeah. We don't, I don't yeah. need all so, this. So, so we can see. Uh, obviously, this is not a residential. Um, no. Nope. And it's in an area that's not zoned as residential, and it looks like the amount of parking stalls. And the size of the project is not a residential one, so it, it appears to be a commercial. And when they come to the city with their plans, yeah. you, you'll know it then. You'll know. Yeah, I'm okay with that. What they propose, but I, I just wanted to make sure that you guys know they're complying with everything the city asked for. All righty. Just was wondering about direction, about bringing a resolution possibly to the next meeting for council to consider. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Moving on to new business. And I need both first, first consideration ordinance 1081 ordinance spending the official zone of the city. Bear. 
Most my Riley, second by Bethany. Mrs. This is out there for the expansion of Edwards. Edwards. Well, it's very lame, and Mr. Barry uh, asked for this. He wanted me to request it. Because there was a house on the lot, there's no longer a house on the lot, there's just a shed. And planning and zoning voted to approve moving forward. It was not unanimous, but it, they did vote to approve. Uh, to the north is commercial, to the west is commercial, to the south is commercial, and that lot is zoned as residential, and they would like it to be zoned for residential to commercial. And the same property owner owns the property to the direct west. Any questions? Roll call. Alec? Yes. Sark? Yes. Gates? Yep. Blue Hop? Yes. Vecinius? Yep. Armager? Yes. All right. I need mean, motion first consideration of ordinance 1082, an ordinance adding provisions pertaining to the installation of expansion tanks and combination temperature and pressure relief valves. Motion by Riley, seconded by Mr. Hesenius, Mr. Ron Senius. Any other questions on that? This is from um, the committee meeting. Um, from, that's met a couple of times that we're asking, they did the research and this is the ordinance from that uh, for the pressure tanks. And I know it's a bit wordy, but it is very specific to where there's no question to what it is and how it should be installed in a house. Not on the, not on the outside, not on the back end, and just how it's supposed to be. Any concerns about it? Um, Any questions? And then a roll call. Parmeter? Yes. Gates? Yep. Stark? Yes. Vecinius? Yep. Elwick? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. All right, item C, now I need a motion approval of resolution to set a hearing and give notice on proposed ordinance to amend the zoning district map. So moved. Second. Motion by Bethany, second by Riley. Same thing with the Barry. Correct. Yeah. You're setting a date for a public hearing. Anybody got any questions? Next meeting? No. 27th. Uh, roll call. Stark? Yep. Vecinius? Yep. Gates? Yep. Blue Hop? Yes. Elwood? <coughs> yes. Parmeter? Yes. All right. Now I need a motion approval of resolution accepting the dedication of public improvements and all easements described within the resolution for dedication all set forth and located within the final flat of Anderson Creek State Second Edition in the city of Benton, Iowa. Motion. <coughs> second. Motion by Andrew, second by Zach. Um, so this, once this is approved, we are going to own the entire thing, and John, I'm glad you're here to say this. Um, the place isn't stabilized yet, right? Correct. Have you got any agreement with Boomerang to make sure they're going to come back and stabilize it, or? We do. Mm -hmm. For sure. I didn't mean to. <laughs> because that, there was... It was, I believe, the DNR that came out and did the inspection. That's uh, just them to comply with the SWIP. I'm a, once it gets stabilized, Nate had sent an email, John, to Boomerang that they're on the hook to come back and clean the storm sewers after it's done because of all the mud that washed oh. into it. Mm -hmm. And I we don't have that. I need that. And our attorney says if, as soon as we accept this, they're entirely off the hook for cleaning that out. We've been waiting to hear back from Bryce today. So, they can decide to accept it. I'm just saying that's what their attorney said. Yeah. I wonder how much it costs to do that. I mean, I, I'd almost guarantee to clean it out myself. <laughs> you know, we've been at this for a year. We were hoping we could sell lots last April. I mean, at some point, we got to approve it. And I get it. Yep. Um, 
See, one of the current concerns also that the hospital should have and is that their names at the top of the SWIFT document. And they're going to be liable for that until every house is built out there. And without any stabilization crop out there, which I don't think there's that one bit of seed on the ground out there. There's straw, but I don't think there's any seed. You know Boomerang better than I do. I mean, I, uh, I would think at this point they owe us that, at, the, at a minimum. Not saying what they don't owe you yeah. is what you can go get them to do. Yeah. So. Yeah, I guess I thought that, I thought we had something from them. I thought so too. And we've actually been sent out. The info has been sent out to them, but our attorney is still waiting for something to be signed. See, there's a part about a little piece of concrete that didn't quite need strength, but mm -hmm. both Nate and I are okay with that, but apparently Doug isn't. <laughs> so. I think there was one word in there, and then he decided to rewrite it entirely, which is, that, that's what, he's an attorney and I'm not, yeah. so that's why you trust him. Yeah, we were willing to accept that. We didn't yeah. see any long concerns with that, but the seating in the mud and the dorm sewer is going to be a big issue. Yeah. So, and it's not only for that, it's the DNR is going to come knocking on the door here for too long. So my question is, is something different than when the DNR came out and and did their write up for other stabilizations? So you go out there and look at the pictures. It's on the DNR website yeah. about what it was and the complaints, and it's they didn't fix most of it. I was through here yesterday and actually drove past that, and it looked like they were installing some additional cell fence. I. I didn't stop and get nosy, but it did look somebody was out there doing something and it appeared to be erosion control. So the only I thing I saw out there was the guys out trenching <laughs> some electric. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so maybe that's what I saw. I, I, I thought it was silk press on a roll, but maybe it was something different. Yeah, unless, I don't know. I haven't been out there today. So. That's all I've seen is the trencher and stuff. The directional board was out there today. Yeah, that's what yeah, I saw that so. yesterday. The directional board. Well, all I'm saying is we can accept it, but somebody's going to pay to get the sewer cleaned out. Once it gets stabilized, it has to get stabilized, so I don't know what you got. If I remember the original contract with them, they had seating of all those lots. Like I said, I don't know if they've done that. <clears throat> well, yeah, I mean, somebody's got to do it. And we're working with Boomerang to have them do it, but if they don't, we either fight Boomerang or we do it ourselves. We're not, we don't expect the city to do that. Okay. That's what I need to hear. So. Be nice. But we don't expect it. It's really accepted. It's over. We don't have a contract with Boomerang. We're with them. We're trying to get a contract with Boomerang on that little piece and of And like I said, I have no concerns about that piece of concrete. I know. I know. That's, that's so, the benefit. And so, so it explains me pros and the cons, if we don't accept it, they don't sell lots. They don't sell lots. They need to start selling lots. And if we don't accept it tonight, are we back to the second, to the first meeting? And we would have to wait for them to get agreements if that's what you want to do. And we're on the clock for the TIF agreement right now. Yeah, yeah the kind of need to accept it though and leave the hospital on the hook. Um, well, we're pretty sure the hospital will be good for it. That's my well, opinion. Well, I, I understand <laughs> so. that, but, okay, all right. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll reiterate, we do understand that there is a problem with the silt in the sewer. And one way or the other, that will be fixed. Not at the city's expense. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you for that, John. Um, anybody else got any questions on this? I'm anxious to get a lot sold. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, we still have, uh, you know, a good, strong interest out there. We're going to hold the price where we set them even before all this crazy crap started. Uh, but I, I do think it'll be, I, I could see the price of those lots going up sometime in the next year or four months. But we want to get some houses built out there. You bet. Yep. All right. And I'll ask for a roll call then. Yes. Casinas? Yes. Yep. Gates? Yes. Parmer? Yes. Elwood? Yes. Sark? Yes. 
<coughs> Done deal. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank the hospital for their dedication. And yeah. Mr. Anderson. I mean, I, I, just, just so we're clear, you know, this is a <laughs> community project. There's it nobody is. getting rich off this thing. Oh, no, no. Uh, no. I appreciate it. So, let's get some lots sold. Yeah. <laughs> so. And I'm supposed to call Barry in the morning, you know. Or unless you want to talk to them. Uh, I'm supposed to call him tonight. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will leave you to that. Yeah, I'll take care of that. Thank All you. right. Yeah, and then I, I will touch base with you with what conversations you've had with, with Boomerang, but mm -hmm. we need to get that through. Oh, yeah. If you want to hang out, we can do that. No, this isn't going to take much longer. Yeah. All right. Uh, I only got a few more. So. All right. Now I need a motion approval of a bid from... Thorpe design for LED sign display and awning recover. What's that? Recovered at Skeeton Activity Center. Motion. Motion by Riley. Second. Second by Ron. Getting a new sign, fixing the cover. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I mean, it's one of the first things. I know we had that in the bid. That aired your budget. I yeah. Know you're about that. And it's, I mean, it's one of the first things you see when you're coming into town from, from the south. We're going to put this all sorts sign of <laughs> This I'm excited for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean. He said I could use it. <laughs> yeah. So. so this, along with uh, new light packs on the building, which we're, we'll bid out to. I've talked to um, Brad about that. We want to just brighten up the whole outside of that facility and get a new LED message board, kind of along the lines of what um, you know the bank has on the corner, um, and just brighten that up as you're driving into town. Modernize it a little bit. Um, I met with or. I messaged through email to Madonna and Mike and a couple of the Madorans, and we're gonna have the old Moose's logo on the sign too, and okay. just some stuff too, so it'll kind of bring a little bit of the old and the new together, and the awning and the sign and stuff like that. So um, I can share the design with the council at the next meeting too. So, but we're pretty excited about it. All right. Roll call, please. Harmonder. Yes. Gates. Yep. Asenius. Yep. Elwick. Yes. Blue Hawk, yes. Stark, yes. All right. Now it's time to set a date for public hearing to approve the FY24 budget. We just need to set one. So we're talking like at the next meeting, right? April 15th. April 13th. 7 p.m. Everybody all good with that? No. So that date has been set. Now, next one, need to set a date for a public hearing on proposed contract documents, estimated cost improvement for the East Water Tower painting project. Motion. Now we can need to set a date. Oh, sorry. So, that'll be I at the same time, April 13th at 7 p.m.? Uh, no. Oh. Mm -hmm. So now we got to switch it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess we're doing that one on the 27th. We're, we're doing it. So I can be here. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. So, so maybe you can hear it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Sorry, that was my bad. So that will be April 27th at 7 p.m. You want to comment on anything? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm just told the council quickly that uh, this be, be, this project would go to bid on actually April 21st. So we'll actually have bids. So you will do this in a certain order that you'll do the public hearing. And then you'll approve the plans and specs. And then we'll have the bids ready for you with the recommendation. So. That might seem a little bit backwards, uh, that you're doing approved specs and then you immediately have the bids in front of you, but it's normal. It follows code and everything's fine. So, yep. Good um, deal. I do have one question. There is one logo on that tower right now. It faces southwest. We have one in the bid right now. We can quickly change that before it goes out the contract because if you want to, but we have one now. I don't think anybody can see it from the north and east. Exactly. No. Not, no. Oh, I can't. Right. Go upstairs, look out the bed, and I can see it. It's about for the folks coming in, not for your pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's there. Not everything's about it. I didn't say anything about it. I think we're just going to do <laughs> one. Is it a unit Jeez. price bid or is it a lump sum? That, that's why I asked, because it is, but uh, I'll get a closer to the mic. So there is the, the stencil issue that. Uh, Apparently that never did get turned into the city on the last one. So we have it in the in the specifications this time. They do not get their retainage until Craig 
confirms that it is in his possession in the city shop. So that is in the specification <coughs> of the places no arguments. Apparently they took it. We've reached out. It's it's a the, the company that did it has been bought, and we've reached out and we've gotten zero response. Absolutely. Somebody call Brian Carr. He'll know where it is. He's the one that said that the company took it. Yeah. So the. Uh, that's why I want to bring it up because I would rearrange how we have things ordered because the, the stencil is actually included in the logo right now. So I would pull that cost. I would have separate bid items if we have more than one logo. That's why I asked. But that's that's a lot of that's a I, I anticipate that would be a noticeable cost. That's why I wanted to ask because obviously it'd be the same stencil. We pull that out as a separate bid item. And this will be the ones that don't have a stencil though. Projected up on there, so there is no stencil to have. Mm. However, they want to do it, or however they can do it. Yeah. But, uh, so if they have no stencil, do we get a deduct? Mm -hmm. Just ask. Mm -hmm. If they project it up there. Well, <laughs> that's so. Uh, that's actually a really good question because if there's no stencil, then the bid would be lower. It should be lower. We would not get a stencil. Craig would not get a stencil. <laughs> <laughs> But their bid would be lower, so there would not be a deduct. They would just be providing the stencil itself at that point. Yeah, but if they don't have to as part of the line item paying the logo on right. it, that number. So do we want to, the quiz is the question, do we want to pull that out anyway? And then if, if there's no stencil, that gets deleted. Or it's a zero bid item. Zero bid item. You're the smart one, you figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I made tweet. Like before I go out. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. That one's set yeah. too. Record Chris. Chris? Yeah. I'm up. Well, just want to thank council for the work they did on the budget for this upcoming year. Budget was process. And thank all the department heads and the staff for everything. I know there's two seasons for me. There's budget season, there's building season. So I see budget season going to a close. Um, next week, um, I'm in the office on Monday, but I will be out on, from Tuesday for the rest of the week. I'll be at the Governor's Economic Development meeting on Tuesday in Pocahontas, and on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I will be with the Iowa Municipal Managers Institute in all the way in downtown, beautiful Iowa City, Iowa, for continuing education. So, but I will have my cell phone and still will be available. And um, that's all I have to report for now. Perfect. Charlie, you got anything? Yeah, you, know, you guys got the information that we were approved for our grant. Uh, it came in at 155000 the, the bid for our air uh, packs came in at 190 some thousand. But the, the firm that we're getting our air packs from also uh, got a bid and got it for Urbana, Center Point, and two other cities. He has revised our uh, cost and has narrowed that forty thousand dollar gap down to twenty. And I'm proud to say, the Benton Fire Department, the association is willing to step up half of that. So the cost of the city for two hundred thousand dollars air bottles is going to be ten thousand bucks. Nice. And on top of that, we uh, you know we purchased our UTV or side by side the city's agreement that they would pay for the sliding unit to give us time to apply for a DNR grant. The association voted and approved that we went ahead and paid for that ourselves too. So that whole unit is completely paid for. Nice. So, in saying that, tomorrow night is our fish fry. So please support it. That gives, us, that gives us the resources to do this for the city. Four, four, three. four to seven. Free will donation. Or 20 bucks minimum. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you, Matt. Um, I met on Monday with uh, Shai Padry regarding the rec center. I can update council um, at our next meeting on that, uh, where we can have sidebar too. Uh, I also met with Dan Triber from Tennis Services of Iowa yesterday morning out to pickleball courts to get uh, moving on them resurfacing those from the issue we had last fall, so that is going to be happening here in the next couple of weeks that they're going to be out and 
start ripping up the current surface and get the other one done hopefully by mid-May. Um, I also will be going next week in Davenport to the State Park and Rec uh, Conference and I'm going to be giving a talk at lunch on Tuesday about 356. So apparently I'm the only person in the entire state of Iowa from a Park and Rec Association that knows anything about this. So. Um, shouldn't say I'm the only person, but the only person who's managed to look into it at all. So. Hmm. It's probably because of me harping about it. Uh, well, and also I'm kind of one for not sitting back and letting things happen. If I need to lobby for my job, then I will do it. So. Um, and I may, end, well, I can talk about some other stuff later, but other than that, we're ramping up for summertime where things are going gangbusters and my mind's going in nine different directions. So but we're good. Things are good. All right, Craig. No one uh, snuck in on me. I didn't see you. I did. Uh, continuing to uh, GPS different parts of the town. Um, we're, I hope we're getting closer with the elations and panelists as far as the billing side of it. Um, I think we have a meeting again next Tuesday. So hopefully we they'll figure out how to play nice with each other and, and pick something and, and we can start going full throttle, I guess, with uh, getting the electric meters part pulled in. So, um, yeah, it's still going around doing lead and copper, so if you get a knock on your door, you'll, you can ask for his ID, he usually has it with him, so it's legit, he's doing what he's supposed to do, so. Uh, I'm getting ready, getting close to hauling sludge to the sewer plant and trying to get all the repairs done before July 1 when Chris takes all our money away. So <laughs> he's going to guarantee no breaks over next year. So, other than that, and we're meeting on, on the 5th for the sewer department. For the that? Sewer. We're meeting with B&K on the 5th. I think, yeah, I think that's the day. That the same day as the Trees Forever meeting, I think, with the DOT? Yes. The DOT meeting is at 10. 10. Yes. And I assume that last couple hours. I would assume so. And the one's at 1. Look at me knowing my time to dance once. DNK at 1? DNK at 1. I have not heard that. So I'll put that in. She was waiting for me to respond to her. Alrighty. Melissa. I'll hold down the fort next week when Chris and Matt are gone. I don't know. I got nothing. Matt come up with so many You calls. got a bid opening tomorrow or, or next week for the airport. Airport bid opening next week for the mm -hmm. runway resurfacing. What's that? When? Early next week, Tuesday or Wednesday. Anything else? Uh, my report, um, based on Mr. Wildman's thing, I would like that committee meeting set right now to go get them. And the intention of that meeting is to get this resolved, come back to the next council meeting, give us a recommendation so this thing is over. I'm tired of hearing about it. So, committee, go get it, get it solved, come back to the council, and give us a recommendation, we're going to vote on it and make it over. So, that would be public works. I think you guys met with them last time, right? Yep. Waiting for that time. Yep. <laughs> what's, there, uh, what's next available that we could, that would make sense? Oh. Do it. If you need me here, then uh, Monday is it for me next week. But after that, uh, I think just about any time on Monday, the week of the third. Time you not oh. gonna work? Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll make that work. Yeah. Uh, I'll still five then. Five. five. Yep. Good deal. Thank you. Yep. Get 
that resolved at the first meeting in April. Okay. Good welfare. So we got. Describe. Guess our cell bus tomorrow, right? We are. That's right. And the fit environment's fish fry. We're all in here. Bingo. Starting at four o'clock <coughs> till seven. Big free will donation. Like Big so. will to come to that thing. I like your I like your thinking, Mary. It's the best fish you'll ever eat. In Vinton. <laughs> Fresh out of the cedar. Maybe. Maybe. Got the poles. Got a drift out across there. Anybody else? Bingo. Bingo is Sunday night. Sunday night. Sunday night. Last one for the year. Last one. What time? Five, Five to five. seven. Five to seven. I'm gonna have to make it. It was actually kind oh, of a right thing. So. I wish. Uh, we are gonna. Get rid of whatever, whatever we got. <laughs> so we're, we might have some Here's some right. rapid fire bingo if you got this number and you win something. Yeah, I like <laughs> I like those. Yeah. I love the seven digit one. one. Yeah. That's, That's always crazy. my favorite. Might be what? like Oprah. You get seven a prize, digit. You get a they call. They start calling, and if you get seven covered numbers, whether they're in any oh, order yeah, yeah. or not, they did that one. Do you shotgun, win? shotgun bingo. I love that one. Yeah. Anyway, I love Anyhow, that's all I got. So, weather is changing, frost is gone, things are looking up. All right, I need a motion for adjournment. Motion. Motion by Ron, second by Riley. All those in favor? Aye. We're adjourned. Thank you. Wow. Now you're up, kid. Yeah. Come on up. <laughs>